What are you doing tonight? Masturbating. I'd invite you, but people are already talking. It's pathetic. You divide your nights between porn and the Discovery Channel. Right. Playing Dance Dance Revolution is a much better choice. Okay, that was a gift from a patient, and it happens to be great exercise. I mean, who rents porn anymore? Can't you get this stuff on the internet? You can, but you can't get disc two with the director's commentary. Come out with me tonight. I'm going speed dating. You mean you're dating on meth? Count me in. You need to meet somebody. This way you meet 20 somebodies. Over a five minute discussion of Proust, speed dating's a meat market. Yeah, dozens of women just waiting to be hit on. Your odds of a happy ending are nearly as good as staying home and watching porn. brought a date? Well, some seem to think it was a good idea. You need to dive back into the pool. Yeah, he has to swim in hours? Go to a bar, you bring your ugly friends. It's not a beauty pageant. Life is a beauty pageant. Little girls who kiss frogs expect them to turn into you. Oh, come on. You're not that good looking. Yeah, you are. You kind of are. So you attribute every relationship I've ever had to the height of my cheekbones? Not the whole relationship, just the beginning. The rest is your hair. This is ridiculous. Women aren't as distracted by appearances as we are. They look deeper. You want to bet? You can't tell anyone you're a doctor. We're unemployed. They're also a little slow, misunderstand everything they say. You lose the accent. A hundred bucks. So you still walk out of here with a dozen names. Ladies and gentlemen, the fun is about to start. When I strike this gong, each man should sit at the table you've been assigned. When I strike it again, date's over, move on. I'm an oncologist. Oh, my aunt and my grandma, they both died from breast cancer. Do, do you want to talk about it? I'm a diagnostician. I find out what's wrong with people and I fix it. Don't all doctors do that? Yeah, but they can't dance like I can. I play video games. Oh, professionally? <laughs> I wish, bro. After six months of chemo, we thought he was out of the woods. I don't want kids. Check. Uh, I'm thinking about going from a C to a D. Quadruple check. And I'm on fire for the Lord. I'm a chocolatier. I could tell by your hips. Yeah, I, I guess I could afford to lose a few pounds. <laughs> I don't think I know anybody who died of cancer. Thank God. For you, I mean, obviously. Except my cat. She died a few months ago. I hate these things. Are you here at gunpoint? You need me to call 911. Friend dragged me. She uh, keeps trying to fix my life, which admittedly could use it, but still, annoying. You like puzzles? I hope my job would let me play with puzzles all day long, but it uh, didn't work out that way. Police detective. Turns out criminals are idiots. If they're not gonna bother to challenge you, what's the point? Is there a fire alarm we could pull? Maybe get out of here. Mm. Except, maybe you're just too swaft. Beg your pardon? Swaft, it's one of your crossword answers. I believe it means lying manipulator. Tells men anything they wanna hear. You brought a prop. It's a conversation starter. Folded the paper to make it look red, filled in some answers, but you couldn't be bothered to work at it, so you just put in random letters. You have some natural talent as a liar, but not enough brains to see it through. I'm gonna assume you're not a cop. Where are the five minutes up? These women would welcome a call from you. And these women would welcome a call from you. My. Find anything? Relevant? No. Interesting? I guess. There's nothing she doesn't share. Angry sex is overrated. How can he expect me to be aroused when I'm so pissed at him? Revelations like that might just earn her a new kidney. 
An hour after she blogged about her kidney failure, the hospital got a call from Singapore, one of Frankie's readers asking how hard it would be to donate. How good looking am I? I'm not asking if you're attracted to me. I'm looking for an objective answer. Oh, okay, then it's an appropriate question. Last night, I acted like a complete tosser to prove to House that women don't go out with me for my looks. It cost me a hundred bucks and my definition of myself. And women. So date men. They're not shallow at all. Everything's physical. Yes, we're physical beings, some more than others. Please don't define my entire gender based on one night. No, what if the patient's problem is a physical reaction, not an emotional one? What if, what if her lack of arousal had nothing to do with their fight? Sjogren's would inhibit her normal secretions. Sorry. Hey, Sandy. Can I borrow your car? She gave me the keys. You're a doctor. She was doing you a favor. She barely knows me. I've been deluding myself that I'm actually connecting with people. The first person I ever fell in love with turned out to be a total tool. And he came across all funny and charming and thoughtful, but it was an act. He saw something he wanted, and he knew he had to behave a certain way to get it. In retrospect, the fact that I was 17 and he was 30 should have been a clue. Figuring out who people are takes time. And it takes twice as much time if they're trying to impress you. Now, I could take from this that anyone who loans me their car has an ulterior motive, or I can accept that it's just a nice thing to do and take people as they come. You want to do the first injection? Do you think people can actually know each other better on the internet than face to face? Faces can be distracting, but there's nothing better than looking into someone's eyes and well, everything that goes with that. I don't know. People meet, they're like something superficial, and then they fill in the blanks with whatever they want to believe. Why are you so hung up on this? I refuse to believe it's all because you just noticed you have a nice face. You just came off a relationship. You know things go deeper than... Is that what this is about? You and Cameron? I was the one that pursued her. Maybe I was just filling in the blanks. Maybe... Maybe her first reaction was right. We were just two people who were in proximity and found each other attractive and I, ne I never... I never Paranoia. Surprised. You felt something real. So did she. Don't try to take it back now. Can I borrow your car? No. 